I've had hundreds of DMs for vegan fish sauce. I've never made vegan fish sauce before, but you know what? Set myself a challenge. Let's get after it. Pan. Some water to start off. Right, the reason we need water is because we're gonna be doing some seaweeds. Now, fish sauce is in your face, full whack. It's like, it fills your mouth with umami. It's salty. So we're going along that same vibe. We're going to get a lot of umami and saltiness from seaweed. This is kombu. So just tear it up. Now, the other funny thing about kombu and this next one, which is called wakami, they're kind of fishy, right? Because it's from the sea, weirdly, your brain associates it to fish sauce, even though it's not fish. Mushrooms dried. So just break them up and that'll help the water get into them and rehydrate them and help release all of that umami delicious flavorness. And I want to show you some bottled sauces. Basically, this is like a seaweed kombu dashi. It is huge on the umami front. It's very salty, but it is super delicious. So we're going to get some of that in there. White soy sauce, that goes in. Then tamarind extract. It's kind of thick but watery is cheek puckeringly tart, which is great. That's going to help us along no end for the fish sauce. Now, this is an interesting one. It's coconut concentrate. So it's kind of umami rich, plus it's sweet. It's like pretty epic. Coconut vinegar. Again, it's sort of giving a different kind of mouth feel. That's it. We've got nine ingredients in this pan. And what I'm going to do is bring it to a gentle simmer. What I don't want to do is boil the absolute living daylights out of this. Not a good idea. What I want to do is infuse these shiitake mushrooms. They'll rehydrate in the liquid. And then the seaweed and the shiitake together are basically having a hot bath in that liquid and releasing all of their umami and the flavor. Leave it on your stove. Give it about anywhere between 30 minutes, 40 minutes. The longer you leave it in there, the richer it will be. Of course, you've got to remember, if by accident you boil it, it starts to reducing, just add it in some water and bring it back up again. Like I say, 30, 40 minutes, a, a just gentle simmer, and then we'll come back and have a look at it. Because it's just, just, just been on a simmer, I haven't really lost too much liquid at all. Big strainer for ease of use and speed. The smell is insane. Like you're just smelling umami, basically. Squeeze as much of that as possible. Now, if you're making this on the reg, which I reckon you will, once you try it, you're just gonna go, oh my God. I would use this again. Like I would add the coconut vinegar, the tamarind, the water, the shoyu into this and give it another go. You could probably get two to three batches by using the same seaweed and shiitake over and over again, because they've just got so much flavor to give. So I'm just gonna strain it through a fine strainer. Now, shelf life is 12 months in the fridge. Treat it like any other condiment. There's nothing in here that can go off. But trust me, once you've made this, you're gonna fire through it so fast, you're gonna be making another batch, trust me. Even if you're not a vegan, this should be something that you've got in your arsenal. This is a great thing to have by the side of the stove. It adds sweetness, it adds umami, it adds a little bit of acidity. If there's any other vegan alternatives that you're mad for and you want me to have a crack at, just message below, put the comment below, ask if there's something that you want a vegan version of, and you know, if it's interesting, I'll do it. Thanks for watching, and if you like that, please, click subscribe because there's plenty more where that came from. Also, if there's a recipe that you actually want to see me make, chuck it in the comments below and we'll get around to it. Thanks for watching.